my guards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't blame them, it's Scotland. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much done now with the legs. Just got passed by a non-e-biker, so I must be tired. He, he was wearing a jacket saying GBR on it, so I'm going to say he's some sort of a very fast XC guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the high pivot slowing me down, or my fitness. <laughs> it still does all the reflex and stuff. Never cleared it any better on my patrol. Ugh. Bit cross windy. Whoa. Very cross windy. <laughs> <laughs> Manuals all right. Wow, it seems nice and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, backhand came out there. So far so good. Seems to go up the hill absolutely fine. Turning's fine on the hairpins. Pedals fine. Um, I can't really hear any extra noise from the drivetrain. Not what this bike's designed for, so let's see. I'd be riding it on this every so often. Oop. <laughs> Yeah, a bit lazy. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> Got lots of confidence in it, you know. Front wheel, uh, front wheel seems weighted <laughs> as he slides. <laughs> Doing my best to keep the lens dry. Uh, Scotland's not helping too much today. <laughs> Just uh, confidence wise. <laughs> I don't know the bike. So yeah, I left the front wheel absolutely fine over stuff like that. That uh, re drop felt lovely, the rear suspension took it well. Oh, here's a good test, these routes are horrible. Worked alright. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pretty contoury, but good fun. Oh. <laughs> Bounces away.
Nice. Yeah, it's just really plush. Like, not tiring on this sort of stuff. Well, the is, but the roughness wise, it's not. Alright, we're at the, uh, past the top of the hill now. Update on the Scottish weather. Uh, yeah. So, so far, I don't feel any more tired uh, than my normal bike. Uh, my patrol, I'm running a max grip XO Plus and a max grip double down at the moment, so that could be the reason. Uh, this seems to go up the hill just as well. And yes, it's dark. <laughs> I mean, the handle is very similar to my patrol, to be honest, in a lot of ways. If you hadn't told me it was high pivot, you'd not notice most of the time. But it does, uh, it's rolling very nicely, to be fair. Lovely. Uh, this section's going to be a wet, muddy mess. <laughs> and it's really quite awkward and slippery, so... I'll cope with it fine. Wow, that was nice. Ooh. Yeah, the brakes are pretty wood, but it certainly changed them very quickly. Oh, it's coping with the... Ooh. <laughs> so I think it's a max grip front tire. <laughs> gonna go slow into this. Yeah, it's really smooth. Yeah, like it's up the bumps really nicely. It's just like a magic carpet on the way down. Um, much more so than my patrol. But then again, I'm probably running the suspension quite soft on this, and that's probably why. But I'm not feeling any bottom outs. So if you want a bike that, exactly. if you want a bike that just eats everything up, and it still seems to turn in really quite nicely and everything. And this is good fun. However, is it worth changing the control for this? Considering the spec I'd want like seven and a half grand? No. <laughs> it's not. It's different. Is it better? Uh, it's still really, it's really good fun to ride. But I also really enjoy riding my patrol. The one difference so far I've noticed is yeah, it doesn't seem to get caught up on the awkward routes as much. There's another trail later on, Ewok Wall, which will be a really good test for it. Because it was a horrible section that uh, you, the bike really gets caught up in. <laughs> wow, that's pitch black. <laughs> Thank you.
I mean the forecast was uh, supposed to be alright after about 10 o'clock today This should certainly test out with the model it better than the 29 <laughs> Loads of big rocks Oh yeah, okay it works. <laughs> I didn't feel the real wheel get caught at all there. But then there's a section a little bit further on which I'm quite keen because it's really awkward on my patrol. It just doesn't work, so let's see. Whoa, <laughs> front wheel gone. <laughs> so it's coming up now. <laughs> now that I'm getting tired. Yes, the idler probably is taking the edge off my climbing. That last climb up Spooky Woods, I kind of just, I was still going at a reasonable pace, but I just felt coming out of some of the corners or some of the steeper sections, I wasn't getting quite the sort of boost out that I normally would. So maybe that's the idler. No chain slap. Really nice. Probably why it, why it feels a bit flusher. Beautiful. It's so quiet and smooth. Uh, I just can't keep speed through this. <laughs> Get the hear anyway. Uh, but it's really good fun. Definitely, yes, it is smoother over like rough square edge stuff. Uh, it doesn't get caught up as much. Um, but the version I would want is basically seven and a half grand, which I think is ridiculous. Um, considering the e-bike version is also seven and a half grand, but the e-bike version obviously has like this level suspension, but it's an e-bike at that point um so you get way more riding out of it Whoa. 
<laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite lose the speed. and have some drops in it. <laughs> I've done it in a long time. <laughs> Brake not doing this bit here. <laughs> oh no, I lost my footing. <laughs> and then I couldn't decide which way to go. So obviously straight into the tree. Yeah. <laughs> 